As far as I've been able to tell, this is the smallest portable espresso maker. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here at the Panda Ranch, and I like making espressos, and sometimes I'm not in the kitchen to make them, and so I'm looking for a portable espresso maker, and I'm looking for it to be simple and quick, and this is the Wakako Shakaka Mini Presso NS2 which sounds like a Starship designation. But what I love about this is it's a portable espresso maker that you pump, so it doesn't require any electricity, just a little bit of that elbow grease. I know I will probably be tired halfway through the press, but the thing about it is it will take those first generation Nespresso pods or capsules. I think the first generation were referred to as capsules, like the capsules we send into space. And then the second generation, the Virtuo line, people call them, you know, pods, right? Oh my gosh, this book is thicker than the book I got with my first car. But ooh, comes in a nice little ooh, drawstring bag here, and you can see how small this is. And actually, I grabbed just a tumbler like this, a glass tumbler, because I wanted to show you what it outputs. But that fits right inside of that. And you can see, kind of is almost disappeared by my hand here. And I got medium sized hands. So nice and compact. It definitely can go with you anywhere. And this is the plunger that will come out, and you can see it sticks out like that. I was Wondering if that's as far in as it goes, and it is. It kind of sticks out maybe half a centimeter there, so it's kind of nice and easy to grab. Just kind of twist it in. That's how it locks in. And then on the bottom here, what we have is a little cup. I guess I don't have to twist that off. It just comes off. And you can drink right out of this little guy, and <laughs> that means you don't even need to take another cup. But since this is only translucent, you can't really see what we're getting out of there. So I want to show you here on the bottom, we get to the little nozzle right there. And then what I think we would have to do is we would have to open up the bottom and that screws off just like that. You want to kind of make sure everything is pretty tight when you're screwing it back together because it requires pressure here to work. Now, I wasn't sure about this and I didn't see in anybody's reviews here, but the way those original Nespresso pods or capsules work is in the presses and all the coffee makers there is this little waffle pattern It's not sharp. You can just run your hand over it But what it does is as it pressurizes that capsule It presses the foil into this waffle pattern and you start getting these little breaks in the aluminum And that's where it lets out the coffee, but at a nice slow rate So one of the things I was wondering here is is that removable to clean out? And the answer is yes. You can see a little nozzle there. And if I press on this, I don't want to break it, but it just pops out. And now we get this little piece here where this all seems like one piece, but looks like I can rinse it out. You can see there's a little O-ring there. It looks like a silicone gasket around there. So I was just kind of wondering because the little waffle disc there has little holes in it. So, you know, you're going to get stuff in it, but Never seen anyone take this piece apart, but yes, you absolutely can for cleaning. Then on the bottom there, you can see we've got like another silicone ring there. So really big seal. That's where the water will be shot out through. And then up on the top here, looks like just eighth of a turn. And then we have a little reservoir here. This will not hold a lot. I think it will only dispense like a 70 milliliter shot basically. So that's how that will work. If I pull this out here and I just kind of realized there is this little cap here and it's a little domed. And what this is, is a place for you to set this standing up. So you wanna make sure this cap is out. Now this reservoir looks quite a bit bigger and you can see that pump in there. So that's how that works. So what you do need with this though is hot water. So obviously there's nothing here electrically that would heat up water and i want to show you down here on the bottom you can see there are the little teeth ooh, little sharp teeth and that would puncture the nespresso pot and then up here you would pour in the water and obviously it would have to be hot water so i have some boiling water right here and we will put that in there now i am going to obviously reassemble the waffle thing is in there now i have some of these original nespresso pods this is what it looks like i really like these because I don't think they're patented anymore or something. They don't have that protection. So a lot of companies make these and they're really cheap, but the skinny end will go in here and it's going to flow just a little bit because those little spikes are holding it up. Now I've seen people say, Hey, you can just put this on and tighten it down. I'm just going to press this in just to make sure that those are punctured. And you can see that that goes flush and take this, make sure you have your little waffle in there and then 
go ahead and tighten that on. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, just like that. And now I can put this in this little pad here and it'll hold it straight up if I'm pouring the hot water in here. But I'm just gonna hold it here as I pour water in there. I was just kind of looking around the edge because sometimes they have emblazoned a little max fill line. I don't see one in there. So I'm actually going to fill it up probably just below the rim there. You know, maybe half a centimeter below the rim. And this was boiling water. Obviously it's still quite hot. Might not be super easy to see, but just below the rim. We'll see how this goes. And now I will tighten this down. That's gotta be on there correctly because it needs a nice tight seal. All right, so I got my tree here. We've got a tumbler right there. I've got the wakaka pump right here and I'm just gonna hold it over here. Now this is a much bigger cup than I need for doing a single shot of espresso for myself. But I just kinda wanna show you what it looks like. So I'm kinda giving it a few presses here because what a lot of people like doing, and I'm not super anal about my espressos, but Okay, I can see, feel like on the, maybe that's the fifth or sixth pump that now I'm getting some serious resistance. So I think I'm pressurizing that capsule and a lot of people like pressurizing it and then allowing the water to kind of seep through the grounds in the pod before they go ahead and keep pumping. And then like I said, burst that aluminum. So, but I've already burst it a little bit because obviously we had a drip come out of there, but now we're just gonna go for the whole thing here. Tell you what, that looks pretty good. Getting that crema on top here. You know what's interesting too is I think maybe it's because the espresso is dripping in there and kind of splashing. I'm getting just a little bit of splash around there. So I've seen in some demonstrations where people are kind of getting some on their countertops or whatever. So if you're out and about, out in the wilderness, it's probably not a big deal. But if you are sitting at your desk and pressing out an espresso, which I could definitely see myself doing. Maybe you want to have like a paper towel or something to mop up the rest. It's got a lot of pressure, that's for sure. I mean, I definitely am really doing some squeezing. It's kind of like a grip master or a grip strength trainer. But as you can see, it's putting out actually a pretty good amount of espresso here. I don't know exactly how much water I poured in there, but like I said, I filled it almost to the top. Now, kind of out of everything here, and I can actually use that little stand again. I could just flip it over like this because I don't need it to stand up vertically, but that looks pretty good. Now, again, if you were having this in a smaller cup, it would stand a little taller, but it's kind of spread out there. But that is, I don't know, 80 milliliters of espresso. Dude, it smells pretty good. I will say the Nespresso pods I get are dark roast. I just tend to like that. More flavor, a little more bold, but mm, that's pretty good. It's got that cream on top, so it mm, goes down pretty smooth. Hey, you know what? This is a pretty impressive little device. Fits in the palm of your hand. As long as you can heat up water and you have one of those original Nespresso capsules, man, you can make espresso on the road, in your campsite, on the trail, at your desk, in a hotel room. So, hey, if you want to pick up one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.